This is computer parts. I'm not going to be making it in a box because that would be interesting. That would be, uh, yeah, that actually would be kind of interesting. I might do that later. But for now, I have built a computer that was the best of the best from 2015. But now, it will be a, the best of the best on a budget because of how cheap everything is. Let's get into it. Now I'm gonna take this down for a second because this is kind of bulky and we really don't need the entire box up here. We only need the contents of which there are a lot of. So let's just move this out of the way while bumping the camera. First things first, the case that we're going to be using is this Zalman T6. Now a lot of the things in this video are going to be pretty much Chinese. Not because that's what I wanted the theme to be, but that's just because that's what I was able to get my hands on. For the power supply, I have gone with an Abiva Essence. Once again, a company that I have not heard of, but this is a 700 watt power supply. The hard drive is a Western Digital, just something I could use 500 gigabytes, but that's just, sure why not kind of a hard drive the graphics card i'm not just going to have one but two of the absolute best graphics cards ever made as of 2015. this graphics card also has the best name of one that i have ever heard it is the wonderful Nvi nvidia geforce GTX Titan X, and there will be two of these. For this video, I am broke, so I only have the one, though you can get two for a very, very cheap price. With, for the motherboard, I went with an Asus Q87M-E. Don't know what that means. Now, the reason why I chose this is because it was the cheapest SLI motherboard that I could find, because I don't have a lot of money. And for the specifications, I was kind of specific in what I wanted. I wanted to do something that I really haven't done before, and that was use DDR3 RAM. Side note, I cannot get this off. I would use another cooler, but this one's just kind of stuck and broken, evidently. But yeah, that, that, yeah. I have gone with 32 gigabytes of young, I'm not going to pronounce that, of... <laughs> 32 gigabytes of DDR1866 megahertz RAM. And to wrap it all up, thermal paste with um, finger condoms. Yeah, that, huh. All right, but that's the computer. Now with all this, we are only missing one component. This one component is the heart of the computer. To sum it all up, I have chosen the best named processor that I have been able to find. The i7-4790K Devil's Canyon. Dun, dun, dun. Yeah. Now, another neat thing about this build is that almost all of this was used. Whether that's going to impact anything else is, I, I don't know, but I wouldn't imagine that it would be very hard to mess anything else up. To put some figures on this computer, the entire setup that I'm trying to build would have cost about $7,000. This exact motherboard, when it was brand new, would have cost $250. Both graphics cards would have cost $2,200, and that is two GeForce GTX Titan X's. The RAM, 32 gigabytes of DDR3 1866 megahertz, would have cost $616, depending on what brand you would get. The Intel Core i7-4790K, nicknamed the Devil's Canyon, 
would have sold for $400 when new. The 750 RPM 500 gigabyte hard drive hard disk would have been $60 a piece. I plan on putting more than one in here, maybe not 500 gigabytes, but we'll see. The rest is accessories such as the mouse, the keyboard, the monitor, and the headset. I have only built the computer and it cost me $395. I did not have to pay for the hard drive because I already had that. Also, later in the video you'll find out that the motherboard, um, well, just keep watching to find out. So let's get into building the computer. Okay, now first things first. As I've said before, I can't get this off. Why? I have no idea. But that's an issue. So what I'm going to do is put in the processor first, which normally I don't do, but I don't see that I have too much of a choice now. Um, yep, just, yeah, alrighty. Is that enough? Yes, it is. Alrighty. So let's get the processor in here. nice and seated in there. Now let's add the thermal paste. Actually, let's make sure this doesn't have any thermal paste on it, just to make sure it's clean. Oh, yeah, it is. Okay. Can I just get the thermal paste? Yeah, I'm worried that I'm not going to be able to get that thing back on, so let's just go ahead and... By the time I have a new graphics card, I'll also have a new cooler and I'm probably going to end up breaking that off and hopefully not damaging anything else. Grease cleanser. Don't sip. <laughs> Alright, so just so those of you know, once open, please seal it after and use and store and I'm having a stroke. Once open, please seal it after use and store in airtight container to keep from dry. What? Oh, once open, please seal it after use and store in an airtight container to keep from dry. And don't swallow. Huh. Okay, so now apply thermal paste to the center. Make sure you got enough. You know what, if I overdid it, whatever. I'm not too worried about it. Let's get that, put everything back together. Okay. This, try not to screw anything up. Yes. Yes. Come on. Uh, no, this is probably not how you're not supposed to, or probably not how you're supposed to do it, but right now, I just, all I care about is getting it in there. And again, this was very cheap anyways, and I still have warranty, so I'm not terribly worried about it. This cooler is the definition of the worst cooler I have ever used. This thing is awful, but that's what you get with stock Intel coolers. So if you ever have a stock Intel cooler, I would absolutely recommend not using it and getting another one, because this is... Whew, that took me probably about 45 minutes to try to get that thing sorted, because nothing would... Anyways, now let's start actually putting everything into the case. Now this computer case is also a very crappy one. But again, I'm not a very, yeah, I'm broke, so we pretty much just have to deal with what we got to deal with. All right, so let's get the motherboard installed.
Okay, now that's done. Let's put in the graphics card. That works. Hook it up. Still missing some. That is the good thing about the power supply that I chose, is that it is also modular. A kind of modular that I like to call a minor modular because it's, for being a modular graphics card, it's really not. Hmm. Okay, well. Let's see if it'll just work off of this. Okay, now that I have probably one of the most jank looking PCIe cords set up, let's get in the RAM. And in the future, when I get the graphics card, I will also get a new power supply because evidently this one is not capable, which is something that it did say it would be in the description. This computer also probably has one of the strangest setups for a hard drive that I've ever seen. I mean, it goes at the bottom. I was hoping to get one with the tray so I can install multiple hard drives, but for now, one will suffice. Because I plan on adding many, 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 many more. Okay, now that I believe that everything has been hooked up, I would like to do a test. Let's plug it in and see if anything blows up. Okay, let's do a little test. Will it turn on or will it disintegrate? Let's find out. Okay. No lights, no nothing. Good. I do hear a very high pitched. That is going to be very annoying. Okay, there's a very, very high pitched noise coming from it. I believe I hooked something else wrong. Well, after looking at some things on here with my wonderful dog, um, and a blinding light, it turns out that the power supply was bad, so I'm gonna have to replace it. Yay. One eternity later. So after days and days and missing a video upload because I didn't have a video to upload, um, I finally have a new power supply. This time it is more modular and it's 750 watts instead of 700. Yeah, um, that with a little bit of extra lighting, I believe this computer can actually work. Um, this is the one that I chose. Got good reviews, the other one didn't. Uh, by the way, I just I would not recommend skimping out on a uh, power supply. That doesn't exactly mean get the most expensive, but that definitely means don't get the cheapest, because, yeah, that, I, that's not the only power supply I've come into issues with. Anyways, um, I had an entire probably five minutes of video of me putting all of this together and doing a bunch of stupid things because I wasn't paying attention and it all ended up uh, not being good video. So thank you, iPhone, for corrupting my files. Um, anyways, yeah, let's get that out of here because we don't need that. Um, but it's in there and it's not connected because that didn't get that far, thankfully. Um, so let's go ahead and get everything connected. Oh, and I also got this, so I can actually use the hard drive. After making the last video, I realized, hey, I don't have one of these, so it's broken now. Uh, <laughs> okay, so let's just get all these uh, connections connected and figure out how this works.
This one actually comes in a resealable bag. Mmm. But the most produce company. This is going to be some untangling. One moment. Good news! I found the stuff for the PCIe. Great! But now, I need to figure out, I, I found out that uh, you can take this bit off, the little front plate. Um, God, that, sometimes these companies make this stuff hard, because that sucker would not come off. Okay, let's get the hard drive connected really quick. Okay, so now the hard drive has power. Um... This is going to be a very awkward fit. I'm, I'm, going, to, I'm going to have to connect a hard drive off the camera. Not now, though, because now it's time for... Dun -ba -da -da. This. Let's hook up the GPU. This is going to be a very interesting build, and I cannot wait until that other GPU comes in. So far, it's not supposed to be in for a very long time. Because I'm also very, very broke. So, yay me. Oh, that's right, it's not plus. <laughs> Oops. Just kind of, oh, okay. That's not what was supposed to happen. Let's just kind of fix that real quick, because that's not what was supposed to happen. Yeah, let's, uh, let's screw that in real quick. And I probably should put a support in here. That's kind of... Nah, it's fine. Oh, I'm recording. Okay, um, so let's get everything else ready. So let's get you, slide you out of here. Oh, there we go. Plug you in. Sehr gut. Good. Okay, cool. That's in there. Um, <laughs> you know, I think that's just good enough. And I think that it is time for a test. Is this going to start? I doubt it. But let's still check anyways, because if it doesn't, then I don't know what I'm going to do. No CPU? Haha, there is a CPU now. You are wrong. Okay, so far so good, because in the other power supply it started making a very high-pitched noise when I plugged it in for the first time. As you might know, that is good for a CRT, not good for a power supply. So, do we get any lights? Yes, a green light. Will we start? 